10 TV's Lacey Crisp is live tonight where this all unfolded at the TJ's off Parsons Avenue with the update. Lacey. Well, you can see they have plywood up now on that door where there were several bullet holes. Columbus police say they were alerted about shots being fired into the area by shot spotter. And they say when they arrived, they found a man who was shooting a gun. I heard a couple shots go off um, and then kind of just rolled over. Didn't really think much of it because um, it could have been anything. But then about 10 minutes later, I heard several more shots, maybe five to seven more shots. Columbus police say when they arrived to the parking lot, one man was shooting. Evidence markers were focused around this dumpster on the side of the business. There were shots fired and, uh, you know, allegedly they were fired at our officers. Officers tried to get the man to put his gun down, but say he refused. CPD says that's when at least one officer fired his weapon at the man. There was cops all over the place, um, went into the backyard to try to look and there was a guy kind of laying down on the ground <laughs> screaming my stomach my stomach LAPD owner and part time police officer Eric Dalbert has similar training to what CPD officers go through. He says the man who police say was opening fire with his gun could have hurt others. An enormous amount of threat. I mean, you start looking at an individual firing off random shots. I mean, those those bullets all end up somewhere. He argues police have split second decisions to make and that the officers involved in this shooting had no choice but to fire their weapons. If you get to a point where you determine that there is a threat to yourself or to somebody else, then that's when lethal force um, is, is justified in using. And you're simply using that force to stop the threat. Um, you're not using the force to end someone's life. So that man was taken to Grant Hospital and is said to be stable right now. No officers were injured in the incident. BCI is investigating. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.